we have a rolls theorem for derivative according to this we have the function f of x is defined in closed interval a to b such that the function is continuous and is differentiable and the function value at the two end point must be same the function is continuous means that we have left hand limit equal to right hand limit equal to the limit at the same value at the same time we have the so let's consider here we have a x and y system let's consider we have x equal to a is one point let we have another point is x equal to b as far as the given condition is considered that we have both value that is y value at x equal to a and at x equal to b must be identical then if they satisfy this condition and your function is continuous then then there exists at least one point c which is a subset of a and b such that the derivative at that point c must equal to zero that is if we have this condition then there must be a maxima or minima at point c that is dy by dx must equal to zero so we have a core like this which has a maxima at somewhere this is what the Rolle's theorem says so what you observe here at the peak point your slope must equal to zero that is dy by dx equal to zero this is what the Rolle's theorem is and this at this point we have x equal to c and c must lie between a and b we can have a minima also that is if a curve is like this so we have the derivative at this point equal to zero so either we have a maxima or we have a minima that is guaranteed there can be any number of maxima or minima between these two points that is also possible so the for Rolle's theorem we must satisfy the three basic condition that first the function is continuous must be differentiable and at end points your function value must be same derivative at point c must equal to zero so some basic questions they can ask on it can Rolle's theorem be applied to f of x equal to mod of x from minus 4 to 4 so if you see minus 4 to 4 and we have mod x curve the function f of x equal to mod of x is defined as for x less than 0 f of x equal to minus x that is this line and for x greater than equal to 0 we have the slope equal to 1 so between minus 4 to 4 the function is continuous so first condition is satisfied but the function is not differentiable at x equal to 0 last condition is satisfied that is the at any end points your function value remains same but since the second condition is not satisfied we cannot apply Rolle's theorem to mod x take second example of mod x plus 2 on interval 2 to 7 so let's draw the curve first we know the mod x graph we'll shift it on two units on the left hand side on the x axis so this graph is of mod x first which is at mod x equal to f of x equal to mod of x since we have a translation along the x-axis the actual graph will shift on x-axis on the left hand side by two units so the graph will be like this and at this point your value is 2 is origin and 2 and 7 so 2 and 7 are coming on this line that is this line so if you observe from 2 so at x equal to 2 uh, y is equals to 4 and at x equal to 7 we have y is equal to 9 so the third condition is not satisfied but the condition number 1 and condition number 2 are satisfied the function is continuous from 2 to 7 is also differentiable between 2 and 7 but is not so let's take another problem on can the Rolle's theorem be applied to f of x equal to cos x on the closed interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 so let's draw the graph first of cos x we have pi by 2 here and minus pi by 2 and for cos x minus pi by 2 is 0 at 0 is 1 at pi by 2 is again 0 so what we observe here is that the function is continuous is also differentiable and at end points the values are same so we can very well apply Rolle's theorem